Great, you saved me a trip to your office. Who are you? What is this, a letter bomb? Uh, not exactly. Sort of an FYI, but don't open it unless you need to. What would I need to? You'll know. One down. Any luck? The groom's disappeared. Well, why don't we go see if he can, if he's found himself some sort of secluded All right, corner go. somewhere. Does he love you somehow? Make one decent move, then quit and run? But you don't understand him. From what I've seen, I don't want to. Give him a chance. He's trying. He is. He wants to be different. Oh, he's different, all right. I gotta go. Okay. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Taya, just answer me this. Did you do this on your own, or did Todd make you? <gasps> Gee, aren't you full of good news? Taya! Music? No, he did not make me. He offered me the divorce, free, clear, and immediate. No strings attached. Yes! And you jumped at it, right? I realized I... I didn't want to leave. I want to be with Todd. I... I love him. No, you don't. I mean, you think you do. But you don't. I mean, and, and, and it's because you think that you can change him. But I'll tell you something. Todd is Todd. It's bad. I can can't change, change him. him. And you know how I know that? Because it's already started to happen. Nora, if you could have seen Todd propose. So intense. So, so Todd, but also sweet and nervous. Going over a list of things in his head that he should and shouldn't do. Todd is not a lost cause. Okay. Dale, I want to be a good friend to you. I want to be a good lawyer, too. I got to tell you something. Even marriages made in heaven are challenging at the best of times. Hey, that was not a cool move tonight, Boomer. You don't leave a place like that in your moment of sweet That's personal. Just leave me alone, all right? You're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, right. You having second thoughts? Yeah, I'm having second thoughts. Look. It took a lot out of me just to ask her. I hadn't even thought about what I, what I might do if she said yes. And the last thing I thought would happen was all the hugging and the kissing and the the, the, the champagne and I just I couldn't take it. Well, look, if it makes you feel any better, there's not a guy I know who doesn't go through that exact same thing after they've proposed. All right, weddings aren't a guy thing. It's like I can deal with all the girl stuff. What I'm talking about is is, is it freaks me out that 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 Delgado trusts me. Well, that's exactly why there's all that hugging and well-wishing. You, know, you don't understand, all right? She, she, she chose me over the Bible boy, and now, now, now I gotta measure up to him somehow. It's a lot of pressure. Todd, come on, look. You, you, you took a big step tonight, all right? I mean, you made a commitment, and you're scared, and that's natural. But I'll tell you that what's worse than making a commitment is never having reached out at all. I'll still wind up alone. Oh, bull. Look, that's where I am now, right? Well, you got yourself here. You picked this place, right? I mean, I don't think it's a very good idea. So what do I do? Just gonna walk right through that door, Sam. What am I, what am I gonna do? I'll tell you exactly what you do. You go to her. You look in her eyes. You tell her that you love her. And you just love her. It's that simple. Perfect. I, I, I feel like... Shirley Temple in that movie where she's dancing up and down the stairs with that tall guy. Todd, when was the last time you got any sleep? You got a calendar? I, I kind of had a feeling. Look, I, I think it'd be a good idea if you got a little shut eye before Taya got here. And, and with that in mind, I, I brought this. Uh, this is an herbal relaxant. You just put it in some water and it, it'll knock you right out. It'll help you sleep. Hmm. You. I'll, I'll leave you guys here. Hello. Bye. Well, this is this is weird. Huh? This whole <clears throat> marriage thing. It's not like it's the first time. <laughs> Israel, right? And you did say yes? Yeah, I thought so. 
Hey, relax, okay? I'm not walking into this blindfolded. I, I know you. And I trust you. I dream about you. Do you know that? I dream about what it would be like to make love to you. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Actually, you know, this is kind of weird for me, too. Uh, it'll definitely take some getting used to. Not, not that I would have said no. Huh? No, I'm, I'm with you now. <laughs> Though how it happened, I really couldn't tell you. But it did. Drinks. Celebrate with drinks. <laughs> hey, you know, Todd, we, uh, we could go all the way, you know. What did you just say? <laughs> I mean with the wedding You know, we could have a A big corny do, you know, the whole nine yards you know What you want? Well, if we had like 250 people All there to dance and cheer us on And well, then nobody could say our marriage wasn't real, you know uh, I, I, I've been thinking about the whole marriage thing, you know, and I think maybe, well, downsizing is probably the way to go, right? And ruin my dream? How could you? Well, I... Hey, Todd, lighten up. I'm kidding. No, I... I knew you, you were kidding. Yeah, right. You don't want to wait? Give me a minute for to get ready, okay? Oh, and hey, don't run out on me this time. Thank you. 